Time to fumble. Oh, the All he had to crowded. do was get it inside 50. There Riding can't be long bump. left. The scores are level. Perry, third man up. Got Leibson. Back to Taylor Gilchrist. Back to Rennie. Got Leibson again. Out wide. Way. Here's Wadley. Oh. Wadley oh. from 45. Oh. Mark taken on the goal line. line. Only needed a score and the mark oh. was taken on the goal line. Wow, oh. Wadley. That was the it. kick to Weatherall. Just overshot the mark. And all of a sudden, oh. we've got a ball up. And boys, over the top of everything else, I can hear Wayne Brasher screaming his head off. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Who took that mark down there on the goal line? I the think it was uh, Crow, Mil yeah, Mil Crow or Mil Milhoisen. What a time. Oh. Leo Barry-esque. Here's Davidson. Oh. Can't quite get boot to ball. Cutting his way through is McConnon, just on the outside no, of the boot. Is he going to, going to pay the mark? Oh. Schneider sells some candy. Drops one long down the line. Someone's going to take a mark for the Eagles. No one can. Oh. At the back. Don't let it go through. Rod Crow oh. gets the handball out wide. Here's Wright. He's got Howard hot on his hammer. Howard versus Wright. Cross comes in to lend some support. Crocker's in there as well. Emily Howard along the boundary line. Picked up by Emily. He was looking for the this, high free kick. Oh. This game deserves to be a draw, really. <laughs> what what oh. great play by Jared Wright then. Jared Wright was two man, two out on him. Vermont. And he just contested the ball so that the, the Vermont guys there couldn't get it. There can't be long left. The tick points all day, Vermont. There can't and they just be long need one left. More. Gilchrist, cross. Born are out of trouble for the time being. It's coming back. McCafferty, hurry up. Turn around. Get it inside 50. They told he pops it's almost it in there. Time. Who, they need to mark the Eagles. They're not going to get it. A big defensive spoil. Oh, Jesus, is exciting stuff. 11 13 79 plays 12 7 79 on the Benigo Bank scoreboard. <laughs> 31 and a half minutes gone. Throw it in a forward pocket for the Eagles. Any score will do. But the Sharon goes back out over the boundary line once more. 31 and, we'll and a half minutes gone, in. boys. 31 and a half. I said 20 minutes. We're currently five minutes past that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. There's there the it siren. Is. Oh, no. I, I'll tell you what. <laughs> in, in, all, in all seriousness, that is the fitting way oh. to win this game. No one's going to be happy about it. But the way that game was played, it was fitting that it ends in a draw. The first senior draw of the Eastern Football League season and fitting that it goes between the top two sides in Division 1. 11-13-79, they'll room his chances, Vermont. 12-7-79, Baldwin. A 32-minute quarter to run out this game. And look at the goal umpires just what belted a game in the of football. Oh, yeah. Watch, sure watch those goal umpires. Right. We'll get confirmation on the final score, obviously, once imagine? we get the wave. Could you imagine? <laughs> if, the there, if there's ever a time for two goal umpires to stand up, it's, the, <laughs> it's right now. As they're just conferring, goal, um, uh, goal cards right in, up in front of their faces. Here we go. And just ticking it yeah, off. I'd like to we think just see, I think uh, I think we're going to see a waving of the flag. So Dave Parker walks over the scoreboard oh. and <laughs> waves his flag. So there it is. Confirmation of the first senior draw of the 2016 senior same season. Same as last year. The same and just game. in front of our caravan, boys, you know, Phil Merton and uh, Graham Helbish there, smiles on their face because that was a great last quarter of VFL football. It was for, a great exhibition. <laughs> yeah. For as awful as the first half of this game was, <laughs> how good was the second half, and in particular probably that last 15, 20 minutes of the game? Yeah, that, no, that, that clutch good. kick from Matty Lee, the big mark from Ryan Phillips, and then the Wadley almost goal, the mark defensively mm. on oh. the line. A couple of big entries inside forward 50. That Connor McCafferty mark in the middle of the ground. The crowd imploring him, him to, kick to turn long. around and get it inside 50. Oh, geez, that was a great game of footy. And uh, I think Dennis Pagan once quipped it. Uh, it's like dancing with Dumbly your sister. Stuff. A draw like that. So uh, <laughs> both sides a little bit stunned. But that's crossed down boundary side. Thanks to chiropedic betting. Esmond Aponzo. Thanks very much for that. Uh, I can't congratulate you on your win because it's a draw, Tim. I've got Tim Johnson, the ca Vermont captain. Look, it was a real arm struggle uh, in arm in a arm struggle at the, for the first half. Uh, Bovin got away in that third quarter. You came back with goals. What does it really sort of feel like at this point in time with this contest? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit mixed feelings, really. I mean, we're, we're sort of you know fell behind in that third quarter, so we're happy to have got back in the game, but to hit the front a couple of times, you know, with, with only a few minutes to go and then not be able to hold on is pretty disappointing. So, um, and then the fact that this game last year was a draw as well, it's sort of yeah, it's um. Yeah, I mean, we're happy with some respects, but, you know, disappointed not to get the win. Really good to pitch up against, you know, I think your team, do you think that, the, what are the key things that you learned up 
playing against a quality uh, opposition like this, you know, who are very, very uh, uh, accustomed to success? Yeah, look, I think, um, I think you know, we, we, we're pretty familiar with Ball and having played them quite a few times uh, over the last few years. And, and, and you know, they just because you know how they're going to play doesn't mean it's easy to stop. Um, you know, and we, when we were able to put enough pressure on around the ball, um, we were able to sort of slow their ball movement down. But, but when we weren't and when they had clean use, well, we know they're pretty skillful and they can hurt you. So... You know, to be honest, um, we probably knew that going to the game. It was just about whether we'd be able to keep it up for long enough. And I suppose uh, <laughs> within a few seconds, we, we almost did. Yeah. yeah. Any questions from the, the commentary team to Tim Abs before we let him go? Absolutely, Tim. It's Paul up in the box, mate. Uh, uh, what a game of footy. Did, did you feel like that was a, a brilliant display of, of what local footy can deliver to all the massive throngs of fans out here, especially that last quarter? Uh, yeah, look, I, I guess it would have been a pretty good game to watch. When you're playing, you sort of, you don't get to appreciate it that much. Um, you just sort of, yeah, in the moment and... and, and I get, think, think we better let him contest, get to his uh, so. teammates here, boys, because the, the coach is talking to them. I'll let you go, Timmy. Jump right. over to the boys, mate. Cheers, guys. It's Timmy Johnson there. Thanks, the, Tim. The skipper of the Vermont Footy Club. Uh. Oh, that was unbelievable, Seymour. I feel sorry for you, mate. Your voice was just about gone by oh, the end of that. I almost fainted at one stage. <laughs> it was six-pack abs <laughs> from yelling and screaming too much. It's... Almost time for a beer, I reckon, but oh. let's uh, get through the rest of this.